Hey, so what does all these different companies have in common? All right, Target, Best Buy, Macy's, Amazon. What are they doing? They're all chasing Walmart. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you a lot of different graphics and everything else and giving you proof that Walmart and this year is going all out to dominate in the Black Friday sales. And right now, they are doing it, folks. I'm going to show you some comparisons of what's going on right now. Um, we're going to see some charts on the stock market and everything so you can see where these people are comparing up to Walmart. Walmart strategy is working very well for them. Their buying power and the way that they force companies to come in at their price point, not what the company that is selling the goods to them want to sell it to them for, but what Walmart will pay for it is paying off and it's putting Amazon and Macy's and Best Buy and Target and all them to shame. They can't compete with everything that is going on. So if you're on a tight budget this year for Christmas and you have kids or you want to do Christmas shopping and everything else, as much as I hate to say it, folks, for a lot of you out there that don't like shopping at Walmart, Walmart is the place to go. And we're going to get started on this right now so you all can see exactly what I am talking about. All right, folks, so we're going to start off right here. Forget Amazon. Walmart is going all out to win Black Friday holiday shoppers in 2022, and they are exceeding that with no problem whatsoever because of their buying power and the way that they buy. These people are not stupid. They know how to make money, and they're going to do it. All right, we're going to scroll right down here. Officially, the season for the holiday shopping and some of our favorite retailers are already rolling out Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. They're already out there. While Amazon has been online for years now due to its huge selection, two-day shipping, and generous free return policies, Walmart has recently made a huge push to make both in-store and online shopping more convenient than ever. In fact, Walmart has stepped up its game so much that even loyal Prime members should consider making Walmart their first destination for Black Friday and holiday shopping. Unbelievable, right, folks? People always thought that, you know, Amazon was going to take over Walmart. I think the times have turned. Now, we're going to jump right down here. Uh, because of many of Walmart's recent changes, many have gone under the radar. They didn't let any of this stuff out until now. We wanted to create a post detailed exactly why shoppers might consider giving Walmart and more specifically Walmart Plus a fresh look in 2022. And people are doing that. You know, Walmart is having seriously insane Black Friday sales. Don't get us wrong, folks. You can still find some great deals at Amazon, um, Walmart, Samsung, Target, and plenty of other retailers. However, right here, however, no one has been able to compete with Walmart's pre-Black Friday sales when it comes to popular Christmas gifts. Walmart has consistently matched or undercut Amazon on prices in advance of Black Friday. And let's show you what I am talking about. Let's jump right up here. We're going to start up here. We have the Amazon. This is the Blackstone 22-inch tabletop grill. It's got no hood. This one has no hood. And they got this for $128. Bucks. Now you jump over here. This is Walmart. This comes with a lid and everything else. It's a Blackstone Adventure, $127. It's the same size. Actually, this griddle is two uh, square inches bigger. It is a 2400 BTU, just like this one right here. Okay, and as you can see right here, 2400, they say watts, it's BTUs. All right, let's move on over. Ninja, Walmart has this for 99 bucks. Okay. Now we're going to come right over here to Amazon Ninja. They have it for $139. You get saved 10%. Um, so, you know, I mean, you're going to save a little bit more money, but it's still $99. Bucks. All right, now we're going to move over here. Walmart has this 215 piece mechanic tool set for $98. It was regular $158. They took off, what, <clears throat> uh, 50 some odd bucks, right? You come over here to Amazon. 
it's 149. No savings, no nothing. So this is how Walmart and Amazon are competing and Walmart's undercutting everything that Amazon is trying to do. And now we're going to take a look at some of the reasons why. We're going to go over here to the stock market real quick. Now you're going to notice in here, the first one is just the, the Dow. Then we have Target, we have Best Buy, we have Macy's, we have Walmart, and we have Amazon. Look at Amazon. Amazon has been tanking. They've lost 43% this year. Something's going on here, folks. Amazon is laying off 10,000 employees while Walmart is hiring 40,000, which is very typical. They usually hire a lot of people during the holiday season to help with the holiday rush. But for some reason this year, Amazon is already starting to cut employees. And they had made a statement as of two days ago that Amazon come 2023 is going to be doing major reduction in staff. So you can just, I mean, the figures tell you itself, you know, I mean, Target, they're up. Best Buy's up. Macy's is down. Macy's is hurting. Um, I did read an article where they're talking about Macy's and uh, Macy's could be on its way out. We'll have to wait and see how this all pans out. As you can see, they are the lowest grossing, even though they still made $6 billion so far this year. They're still down. All right. Walmart is, you know, their stock is going up and stuff. Um, they've grossed about $407 uh, billion. They're a good buy. Uh, they're a good buy. Target's a good buy. Um, Amazon is a strong buy because their stock is just tanking, but they have made $960 billion so far this year. So see, they're making this money. But they're losing here. Amazon stock used to be way up and they're just losing off here. You can see how far they've gone down. You know, they've lost 72.43 uh, million. Walmart's lost 6.33 million. You know, you have these companies are all gaining. So this is the whole thing right here, folks. In a nutshell, they're really hurting. And then you want to know why Walmart is outperforming Amazon. Both of them are on course this year. They're going to be making at least $500 billion in revenue for 2022, which is an astronomical amount of money. And then you come down and it shows Walmart stock has climbed more than 2% this year, while Amazon shares have dropped 43%. And then right here, it also states what I just said just a few minutes ago. Well, Amazon is cutting 10,000 jobs while Walmart is putting on 40,000 associates. So this is the whole thing in a nutshell, folks, and this is what is taking place and why Walmart, if you are on a tight budget, you really want to make sure that you're shopping, comparing, you can pull it up on your phone, you can pull it up on your computer, you can, you know, look at different ads and everything and see who has the best prices because as I showed you just before, Walmart is crushing it on the same products and that's because of their buying power. So what you all really need to be doing this year is really paying attention to all the different Black Friday deals. And more than likely, Walmart is going to win out on a lot of products that are out there. They're going to beat out Amazon. They're already crushing them. They're going to take care of Target. They're probably going to take care of Macy's. They maybe even put Macy's out the door. Walmart is striving to be the largest company and they're going to maintain that and whatever they have to do. It all stems back, like I said, on their buying power that they have and the way that they buy their products. And all these other retailers are not in that same boat. They don't have that power. They don't have that push where retailers cater to Walmart because they buy such large quantities and this way here, they are getting a rock bottom price and they're putting it out there to you at a rock bottom price, which is proof right now that you just saw in this video. So make sure to save money in this tight recession and with all the high inflation and everything else, make sure that you are paying attention to a lot of these different deals going on between this week and next week with Cyber Monday and everything else. You know, I mean, we got to get through this. And if you can save yourself some money and put that extra money, maybe towards putting fuel in your tank or food on your table because it's costing you so much is a bonus.
So I'm Survival Preparedness Beginner. Thank you for joining me on this video today. I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping and make sure that you're really paying close attention to these deals before you make that purchase because you want to get the right price and you want to save the most money. So until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.